Hi guys, I'm Yo Yo. So if you guys uh, like watching the topic of dying game or survival game, like Hollywood action movie, The Maze Runner, and The Sweet Game from Korea, then don't miss the video. So first, I want to introduce my sleeping partner, Nina Bell. So people like to say, uh, because I love pink, people like to say, uh, is it a symptoms of being older uh, because the children hate pink and women will gradually love pink is it true but i definitely don't believe it so okay back to the main point of today um i love watching the topic of survival games and i recently read an internet novel from uh, from hong kong i want to recommend to you guys uh, I give uh, it don't have the English name, so I give it a translated, di very very direct translated name. It is the message read and don't reply. Whole family die. Um, uh, it is written by Ho Hei Yin. If you don't like reading a lot of words, it is just suggested that you watch the adapted drama from the story. The name is. Left on read. The story briefly is about a class suddenly receive a group message. Uh, the group name is message read and don't reply. Whole family died, uh, which is created by an unknown identity. Admin. The first message from the uh, group is the rules of the dying game. The rule one, you will die if you don't reply uh, the message in uh, the message of your classmate who in the group within 30 minutes. So rule number two, send a message who who died or who quit the group died. And rule number three, leak the group information die. If you want to win the game, the class only has two or less survivors or four target people die. Imagine that if you suddenly receive a same message, you will think this is a joke or a trick and they have some uh, and some of them had the same thoughts. Uh, they quit the group immediately. Subsequently, someone who quit the group Boom, they died. At that moment, people know that is not a joke, that's really a murdering. Therefore, part of survivors start to find who is the admin, and part of them find who is the target for. In the following, there is a spoiler a lot. If you're really interested in the story, please read it first. So, in the meantime, the main character, Yearn, Suspect the murderer is Fai, who was bullied by four classmates. Uh, he, but he had suicide. It means he was died. But how can he kill people? Finally, find that it is an AI, artificial intelligence, a system of an organization. Since the boss uh, suffered from cancer and he doesn't have much life. He invented an AI for the purpose of keeping his mind, keeping his ability. Um, Phi is one of the experimental subjects of the project. He was required to talk with the AI every day. Therefore, the AI only received his negative feeling, uh, his anger of bullying and disappointed in the classmate. So the AI perfectly absorbed them and chose to revenge. But how does AI kill people? Who are the target for? How do the characters fight for the admin? And how they can uh, destroy it? Or finally, they cannot destroy it and they will die. Will the company successfully invent an AI to substitute the human being? This question leave to you guys to find out. And now we can discuss a very hot topic in recent years. So artificial intelligence 
is it a good thing instead of us? Certainly, our thoughts and our emotions are also something that can be artificially created. Some time ago, some researchers set up a computer to test how the people um, can relate to the computer. The computers actually are nearby you, such as Siri. And if you guys are the user of Snapchat, uh, and, and nowadays has a AI chat room, you can talk to it and it will uh, respond to you within a second. Technology is moving in a direction where artificially a computer will be able to think a million times better than human beings because thought is uh, fundamentally computing. Data is as assimilated and then it comes out with something sensible from that. Then there will be no failures for human thoughts. I read a sentence on the internet, but that is not that is only intelligence that is not consciousness. Certainly, robots can do everything, but the important thing we live, the life goals, is to pursue us to be a better. When we were small, we had to learn different things like walking, like uh, speaking. And when we're growing up, we had to learn many different things like uh, sports and music instrument to achieve our talents mm, and had to improve our communication skills while not only knowing how to speak. Moreover, some researchers claim that the robot can play basketball game in 2015. Um, but so if it really works, we lack life goals. We don't have to practice and become a better man. You know, many boys play basketball and their goal is to play in the NBA. So, no goals for them. In my point of view, AI can assist people, but not us. We, as human beings, receive different information and entering different people and things that change our mind and grow up in every second. Although the boss can finally keep his mind after he dies, um, it is not whole him. <clears throat> Humans should accept natural birth, aging, sickness, and death. So I stop here. Um, welcome to share your opinions on AI and about this story. Please give me a like and subscribe to our channel. I will share more books and stories to you guys. Thank you. Bye.